Hi everybody, my name is Scott Legere Horn, and this is The Short Call, the series where I show you one small thing about playing the French horn to make your life a little bit easier. I've been recording myself a lot more often lately, as I'm sure many musicians have, and a lot of us musicians are now using microphones for things like online lessons and other recording projects that we're taking on. What I like to do for my own recordings is take a high quality USB microphone like the Yeti Blue and place it two to four feet from my horn. With the gain nearly all the way down, the microphone gives a very clear and present sound of the French horn, which is great for online lessons and mixing in a recording. <laughs> These are just the ways that I personally like to use the microphone, but you should always experiment with whatever equipment you have and the space you have to find the best sound that's right for you. If you found this video through a hashtag, give it a like, share the video, and follow my page, Scott Legere Horn, where I can show you more tips and tricks to make your life playing the French horn a little bit easier. Happy practicing. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Legier Horn, and this is The Short Call, the series where I show you one small thing about playing the French horn to make your life a little bit easier. In today's video, I'm going to show you the two ways that I practice lip trills, one that helps with consistency and the other that helps with speed. The first exercise is one of the most common because it's found as etude number five in Koprosh's 60 etudes for low horn. <laughs> The other exercise I like to use focuses on making a series of short, quick bursts of little trills. Developing clean and fast lip trills takes a lot of time, but using exercises like these every day in all keys can help your speed and consistency in just a few minutes a day. If you found this video through a hashtag, please like the video and follow my page, Scott Legere Horn, where I can show you more tips and tricks to make your life playing the French horn a little bit easier. Happy practicing. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Legere Horn, and this is The Short Call, the series where I show you one small thing about playing the French horn to make your life a little bit easier. Most of playing in tune is about playing in tone, so you can't adjust any of the slides on your horn to fix intonation until you know that you're playing with your best sound in the center of your horn's pitch. I like to use this pitch bending exercise to isolate my horn's intonation and ensure that I'm only tuning with my best sound. With your tuner on your stand and your eyes closed, start by bending the pitch you want to play up above the center, then down below the center of the pitch, and then back up until your ear hears the most resonant and beautiful sound. Once you've found your best sound, open your eyes and look at the tuner. Now you can adjust your slides accordingly, knowing that as long as you're playing in the center of the pitch, your instrument will stay in tune. However, if your pitch starts to drift sharp or flat throughout your practice session, it's probably not the instrument that's out of tune, it's you. Hi everybody, my name is Scott Legere Horn, and this is The Short Call, the series where I show you one small thing about playing the French horn to make your life a little bit easier. We all have those days when we wake up feeling pretty crappy. Especially after a day of heavy playing or a long practice session, we can find our lips dry, tense, and even a little bit sore. So, it's important to have an exercise you can do quickly to loosen up the muscles in your face and stretch your embouchure. What I like to do in this case is take my mouthpiece and buzz as high and low as I can in a smooth glissando. <coughs> But then I put the mouthpiece about halfway into the lead pipe of the horn and do the same thing. Sometimes if you're feeling stiff, you just need to stretch and move around on the horn a little bit with less resistance until you're feeling ready to play again. However, it's important to know that this is not a substitute for taking rests, and you should still monitor your body carefully to avoid injury. If you found this video through a hashtag, please leave a like and follow my page, Scott Legier Horn, where I can show you more tips and tricks to make your life playing the French horn a little bit easier. Happy practicing. 